welcome back fellow developers today we have something really special for you get ready to embark on the amazing journey of creativity and innovation today we are going to explore the magic of scroll animation using html css and javascript it's going to be fun and interactive journey absolutely with just a few lines of code we can create stunning animation to react user scrolling through the content let's get started as we present our sixth project of 50 projects in 50 days html css javascript that, that is scroll animation you can see the pro before we begin let's understand what scroll animation are scroll animation are dynamic effects applied to web pages elements based on the user scrolling behavior these effects can include fade-ins slide-ins parallax scrolling and much more they add a touch of elegance and sophistication to your web design making it more engaging for visitors the first step in the creating a scroll animation is setting up the HTML structure. We will define the section and elements that we want to animate as the user scroll. By organizing our content into a meaningful sections, we can create a seamless scrolling experience. So guys, let's get understand what we have written in our HTML file. So firstly, these lines indicate that the document type is HTML and the language of the page is set to English. Within the head tag, the sec in the section you define various meta tags and link external files. The meta character duty of 8 specifies the character encoding for a page as duty of 8 which supports a wide range of characters. The meta name viewport content with device with initial scale 1.0 sets to the viewport to device with an initial zoom level. And this is the our link tag which is used to link the external CSS in our project. This is the title tag. The title scroll animation sets the title of the web page which is typically displayed in the browser title bar or tab. The body section represents the visible, visible content of the web page. It contains various elements such as headings and div containers. The line h1 scroll to see the animation displays a heading level 1 that says scroll to the animation. This heading serves as an instruction or indication to the viewers of the web page. The following heading, there are several sub divs elements with the class box and h2 headings that contain the text content. These elements are likely used to create a series of content boxes with the same styling. The number of boxes may vary based on the desired layout. The final line that is our script tag it includes a reference to an external javascript file named script.js this file likely contains javascript code that adds interactively or behavior to the web page it might be responsible for implementing the scroll animation method in the heading overall this html code sets up to structure styles and interactivity of a web page allowing it to display content boxes and animation triggered by scrolling. So now the HTML structure is place. It's time to add a visual appeal to our element using CSS. We will apply styles such as color, font, positioning to make our element stand out. Additionally, we will explore CSS animation and transition to create a smooth and eye-catching scroll effect. So let's get started.
so guys we have done our css code let's get understand what we have written in our css file so the first line imports the roboto font family from google font it include two font weights 400 regular and 700 bold and specifies that it should be displayed using the swapped strategy then these the select the asterisk selected targets all elements in the document and sets the box sizing property to border box this property ensure that the total width and height of the element includes the padding and border rather than being affected by them so to, then the body tag we have applied the css these tiles apply to the body element the background color property sets the background color we have given the font family property sets the font family to roboto and falls back to generic sans serif font the display flex property create a flex container and the flex direction column property sets the main axis to the vertical the align item centers and justify content centers properties center the content both horizontally and vertically the margin zero property removes any default margin the overflow x hidden property hides the horizontal scroll wall if the content overflow horizontal then these styles apply to all h1 elements the margin 10 px property adds a margin of 10 pixel around the heading then we have given a class box and apply this css these styles apply to elements with the class box the background color property sets the background color to steel blue the color property sets the text color to white the display flex property creates a flex container and the align item center justify content center property center the content both horizontally and vertically within the container the width 400 px and height 200 px property sets the dimension of the box the margin 10 px property adds a margin to 10 pixel around the box the border radius 10 px property rounds the corners of the box the box shadow property adds a shadow effect to the box the transform translate x 400 percent property moves the box horizontally by 400 of its own width the transition property specifies the transition effect of the transform property with a duration of 0.4 seconds and ease function and we have also written the this kind of css so what is this this rule targets every even number box and moves them horizontally by minus 400 of their own width effectively positioning them off screen to the left and these are the transform transform translate x by 0 this rule target boxes with the class show and moves them back to their original position translates x 0 these styles applies h2 element to the inside the boxes the font size property set the font size of 45 pixel overall this css code defines the style various elements in the html document it sets the font background color box dimension positioning and transition effect it also includes a specific style for even numbered boxes and class based style for showing the boxes with the show class now we have come to the exciting part that is 
implementing scroll animation with javascript we will utilize the power of javascript to detect scroll events and trigger animations we will demonstrate how to animate elements on scroll control the animation duration and easing and synchronizing animation with the user scrolling speed so let's get started So guys, we have completed our JavaScript code. Let's get understand what we have written in our code. So, so this first line, this line selects all elements with the class box on the web page and store them in a boxes variable. It uses the document query selector all method, which returns a node list containing all matching elements. The second one is our window dot add event listener. This line adds an event listener to the window object for the scroll event. Whenever the user scroll the web page, the checkbox function will be called. Then we have called the initial checkbox function here. This line immediately invokes the checkboxes function once when the script runs. This ensure that the initial state of the boxes is correctly determined based on the scroll position. Let's talk about the checkbox function, what we have written in the code. Let's get understood. The checkboxes function is defined here. It include, it calculates the trigger position based on the inner height of the window. In this case, the trigger position is set to 4 of, th four of fifth that is 80% of the window height. This means that when the top of a box is within the distance from bottom of the viewport, the box will be considered visible. Within the checkboxes function, a loop iterates over each element. This is the loop. A loop iterates over each element in the boxes node list using the for each, for each method, for each box, it calculates the distance between the top of the box and top of the viewport using the get bounding client rec method. If the calculated box top value is less than the trigger bottom value, meaning the box is within the trigger range, the function adds add the show class to the box within the class list dot add. This class is likely responsible for triggering a visual effect or animation to make the box visible. If the box top value is greater than the equal to the trigger bottom value, meaning the box is outside the trigger range, the function removes the show class from the box using class list dot remove. 
This ensures that the box becomes invisible or reverts to its initial state. So this is the checkbox function is responsible for. Overall, the JavaScript code sets up an event listener for scrolling and triggers the checkboxes function. This function determines the visibility of the boxes based on their position relative to view code and adds or remove a class accordingly. This allows for dynamic showing or hiding of boxes and as the user scroll through web pages. Congratulations guys, you have completed our HTML, CSS and JavaScript scroll animation project tutorial. By now, you should feel confident in creating a captivating scroll animation that will impress your website visitors. Remember to experiment, practice and explore additional resources to expand your knowledge further. Thank you for watching and happy coding. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting HTML, CSS and JavaScript projects. Get ready to take your skill to next level. Thank you guys. If you have any question, just add in the comment box whatever you have or any doubts or DM me on my Instagram handle. Thank you.